Welcome to the first installation of the App Coaching Program. How to use Zoho.com as your online tracking tool for the App Coaching Program. This is going to allow us to um, watch and track our prospects, our prospecting activities, and things along those lines. What is Zoho? Zoho is an online document collaborational program. What this says is this is a freeware program just like Excel. It allows you in a spreadsheet uh, format to track your progress with regards to your personal database, share your online uh, program as far as your personal with your personal coach, and track your database versus volume to see what works and what doesn't. First steps to registration. All we're going to do is right now we're going to go to Zoho.com, click on registration, insert our information, and wait till we get our confirmation email. Now let's go ahead and take a look at that now. Okay, first of all, Open up a web browser and in the address bar type www.zoho.com. This will take you to the main Zoho page. Then click on the sign up button to be a first time user. Enter a username, which is just any name or nickname you'd like to be called. Your at properties email address. Then create a password and, con and confirm it. This can be any six or seven letters and numbers that you prefer. Confirm the image text. Then click on I agree with the terms and conditions and hit sign up. If the username already exists, that means that you're going to have to find another username. A confirmation email will be sent to your at properties email address with a link in there that says confirm this. You do have the option to save this password. Okay, now we've set up our profile. Now you're going to get an email from Zoho.com. All you're going to do is click on the hyperlink to confirm your login and password. This is going to take you to a confirmation page. Close down your browser, reopen a browser, go to Zoho.com and log in with your email and password. Let's take a look at how this would play out with your, with your at properties account. So here you'll see I got an email from accounts at zoho.com with the username that I had put in. Open that up. Here's the hyperlink. All you need to do is click on that and that's going to take you directly to the Zoho login page. So when you get this it will say that your confirmation is successful. Continue signing in and that will take you to your profile page. Here you can update photo, personal information, email, locale, things along those lines. You don't really need to fill this out if you're just going to be using it as the spreadsheet. You'll see Zoho Sheets over here, and that's the online Excel program that we're going to be using for tracking. There are a number of different things, but the sheets are what we're going to use. Updating your Zoho Sheet. Click to see that you have received a Zoho email from a username at App Properties. This will be your personal shared spreadsheet. All you're going to do is update the fields according to the date, save the document as a new document, and make sure to update prior to coming to the next coaching program. Now, this is really easy. Let's take a look at it here. Now, when you log into Zoho, you're going to come to their word processor program. That's not what you're going to need to use. So we're going to go over here to this drop down, go to Zoho Sheet. And that's going to take you to their online Excel document program. That's what we're going to be using to track all your stuff. Maximize this screen, and you'll see that it's a brand new, fresh, spanking new screen. Nothing's going to be on this. So you go down to Shared Sheets, and this is where you're going to see the sheet that I've shared with you. It'll be called At Accountability. Click on this sheet, and it'll open in this screen here. Ta-da! So what we're going to need to do is... Close this sidebar down. And then it'll populate up like this. Okay? We're going to want to put your name and your office up there to personalize this to you. And this is where we're going to track things. Now, your volume is what you've written in that month. Now, this will be updated throughout the month since we're going to be meeting two times, but what you've written to date. So let's say $500,000. Under prospecting activities, we're going to go down here and we're going to put in how many people you've sent direct mail to that month so far. How many people have been in your email blast? 
how many people are in your information mailing. That's a mailing that we're going to be working on down the road. And how many people you've got in your CAT program. Now when we update this, the charts underneath here are actually going to display this information. Now as we talked about in class, what we're hoping to see is as these prospecting activities go up, so does your volume. We've got direct mail, email, information mailing, CAT program here. And on the right hand side, we've got your volume in millions of dollars. What we want to do is we want to use this to see what's working, what's not, and tracking it so you can see that yourself. Now after we put our information in for the month, we go to save, save as a new document, and we'll be able to name that whatever we want. Why don't you name that with something in your name in there so we know exactly who it is. Hit submit. And that's about it. Thanks a lot. If you got any questions, please feel free to give me a call or email. Three more days. Girl, you know I will be coming home to your daughter.